Hey, good morning guys. So today we're looking for the Knights of Malta keyhole. Um, basically, see that door there? Uh, there's, there's a few people there, not too many. Um, so basically there's a keyhole in there and apparently this was a, might have been a mistake, might not have been, but if you take a look through the keyhole, then you get a really nice view of St. Peter's Basilica. Actually a perfect view. And um, yeah, you get a view of like three different countries, so we're gonna take a look at it. Three? They say three, but the Vatican's one of them, and Malta is one of them. I don't even know what a Malta is. Uh, it's perfect. It's like a perfect view. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I hope I can like show you guys on the camera. Yeah. Here's what do you think? Oh, it is. Okay. I don't know if a camera would really do enough justice. You can try. Yeah. Right through the garden, eh? Yeah. Clean right through, and you get. Yeah, try it out. See. You see it at all? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. So I lined up twice just so to see if I can take a photo. See that garden? At the very end, you can see. What is it? St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah. So it came at the perfect time because now there's a lineup. Yeah, it's, it's not um, quite off the beaten track as I would have liked. <laughs> Some people do know about it now. I think it's one of the more popular, unique things to do in Rome. Just take a look through the keyhole. Yeah, I think it was really cool. Yeah. Little detour and we found like this beautiful Garden or park? Yeah, it looks like a garden. Yeah, it's a garden. It's got a fountain too. A nice view of the Vatican. Yeah, we'll show you. Michelangelo's dome. Here you just get a great view of Rome. Yeah. It's right over there. Oh. Still want to hop on? Uh, I'm scared. It's tough to find a clean spot anyway. There's all kinds of bird food. Oh, I wish we had a better camera so we could show you. There you go. Little thing, um, it's called the Mouth of Truth. It's this little sculpture there. So, there's a story behind it. Um, I'll go into it after this. All right, so lunch break. We decided to get a panini. Just gonna finish this last time, so we decided to just get one. Um, hopefully it's filling, otherwise we'll grab another one, right? Yeah, I think Luke is really hoping to get another one. Yeah, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good place. It's just outside the Vatican, uh, over there somewhere. So we just saw the Mouth of Truth, um, which is almost like a little unique thing that you can see in Rome. What was that? I'll show you the Mouth of Truth. So if you lie. Oh yeah, so <laughs> yeah, there's a little story behind it. Um, there's, the couple was married, a man and a woman. The woman committed adultery. And in order to accuse her of it, the man brought her to the Mouth of Truth. Because apparently, if you stick your hand into the mouth uh, of the thing, and you tell a lie, then you're gonna lose your hand. And the woman, of course, she knew that she had committed adultery. So what she did was she set up so that the guy that she uh, had the affair with would run up to her as a stranger while they were at the mouth and kiss her, just as a stranger. So I guess it was, it, yeah, so she got the other guy to run up to her as a stranger and just kiss her, I guess like as an attack or so. Then the guy ran off. Um, so that way when she uh, stuck her hand into the mouth, she got to say that she only um, was with those two guys, her husband and the other one that just ran up to her. So pretty, a little wise on her part, I guess. It seems a little tricky to pull off nowadays, because, I mean, wouldn't that guy have been arrested or attacked, perhaps? Not sure. Um, yeah, just a fable. Did you get your hand cut off? No, I didn't. Actually, I wasn't asking any questions. Okay, 
Yeah, there's a big line for it. Yeah, it's a problem with some of these things. There's always a big line in them. One photo purpose. Time for bueno break. This is definitely one of my favorite chocolates. If you guys have any and you want to send it, send it to us, please. Yes, please. And we're just walking by the Pantheon again, this time during the day. Not really. It's like the end yeah, I know, it's starting to end now. Wait, you can see it right. Whenever I see the sun on it. Hey guys, so once again, we're doing another wine um, session. I have some glass of wine here, and we got a platter of the sword and stuff. Yep, and it's again. Yeah, it's I don't know it's so good, it's like Yeah, because we don't have anything like this in Canada. Or not that I know of. So, last time ever. Yeah. Alright, so we just finished eating yeah. and uh, having our wine. If this is our last time coming, it really is a pity that they don't have it in Toronto, no, right? One more, one more time. One more time. One more time? Yeah. It really, yeah. It's really a pity they don't have it in Canada if they don't have it in not Canada. That we know of, right? No, we haven't like, actually looked, so I hope so. Yeah, it's a small little place too. This is pretty much it. And, um, well. Yeah. As you can so, see, we finished the whole plate except for the olives. Who likes olives, right? Nobody likes olives. Let's go, Blue Jays. Not so, can only time. Yeah, so we're at this, we're at this cute little cafe that I found online. And yeah, it looks delicious. I've been having, I've been like craving cannoli for like so long, so, so glad you guys finally have it. What's so good about it? Like, just like the crunchiness of it. The custard is so good. Yeah, custard is so good. Why is it good? Because it's custard. Just so any custard's good? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. What if you call something custard? Does that make it good? Yes, you have three puffs. Oh, okay. I see. 